good morning students and topic of today's discussion and based on the 10th standard social science first chapter and the heading of the chapter revolutions that influence the world and once again revolutions that influence the world chapter number first 10th standard social studies and the chapter shows a picture and that picture mainly based on four lines of a poem and direct uh, written by kumar nashan the name of the poem or ulbodhana and please read that poem or the four lines of that poem and we know that poem mainly discuss the concept of freedom uh, we are the people of india lived in a free india or a free society and now we enjoy and different types of freedom in our day to day life and what kind of freedom can be mentioned or can be write down in your notebook and please note and some kinds of uh, freedoms based on uh, freedom that that is a part of our day to day life and one freedom of speech and second uh, freedom of livelihood and freedom to believe in your religion and such a type of freedoms enjoyed the present days or the present society and the topic mainly discuss about freedom and connective concept related to revolutions and what is freedom and how can we define the term freedom and before the analysis about the term freedom now firstly we point out some kinds of other concept the first thing related to revolution and what is revolution and revolution means a struggle either direct or indirect against the existing system that was known as revolution and mainly and its kinds of revolutions focused changes can you point out and different kinds of revolutions did you heard the names of any revolution and the first thing related to french revolution and american revolution then chinese revolution russian revolution industrial revolution agrarian revolution green uh, green revolution white revolution etc and these terms are closely connected with the term revolution and the first category of revolutions related to the name of nations french revolution related to france then american revolution related to america then russian revolution related to russia and another category of revolutions or the term revolution connected to green revolution white revolution and means some kinds of colors another category related to agrarian revolution industrial revolution and these terms are closely connected connected with economic activities what i am suggesting here that revolution can be applied in every aspects of society either political way or political or polity of the society economy of the society and social strata and another factor uh, religion also witness revolution and religious revolutions known as reformation and before the analysis about our first chapter the term revolution means a struggle either peaceful way or related to armed ones and against the existing situation that is known as revolution and revolution can be seen in different parts of social system economy polity then religion and social levels see and revolution apply two areas or revolution used two methods either peaceful one and the second uh, preferred to armed revolution and peaceful revolution or the best example of a peaceful revolution related to indian freedom movement and indian freedom movement mainly based on ahimsa that concept or that kind of a concept contributed by gandhi and 
Indian people use the concept of uh, non-violence for freedom and another type of revolutions use armed revolution or the weapons like French revolution people used weapons like Russian revolution people used weapons means what I am suggesting here that revolutions based on two types either peaceful one or the second armed ones and these are either peaceful revolution or armed revolution are mainly focused the changes of the society and not out either peaceful revolution or armed revolutions mainly focus the changes of society and firstly certain kinds of factors always stimulated the activities of revolutions or certain kinds of factors acted behind revolution and one of the main factor behind all revolution was not doubt renaissance the term renaissance mainly applied or mainly acted as a behinding factor of revolutions and how can we define the term renaissance and we already know about the term renaissance in your previous classes and the previous classes particularly the ninth standard class uh, elaborately defined the term renaissance and renaissance literally means rebirth or revival or historically means a rebirth of greco roman civilization or the literature of greco roman civilization and renaissance created drastic changes in the case of human thought views attitude aptitude etc renaissance clearly affected the man's thought process his attitude aptitude etc and this renaissance acted as one of the main factor of revolutions or considered as one of the main behinding factor of revolution and the features of renaissance to see what is renaissance renaissance means rebirth or revivalism or revival of greco roman civilizations and particularly and this renaissance created or changes the thought process attitude aptitude of human being and the features of renaissance the main features of renaissance the first feature of renaissance in our textbook mainly mentioned humanism and the second scientific knowledge and the third curiosity and the fourth critical thinking and these are considered as the main features of renaissance see one side humanism and the second side critical thinking and the third side curiosity and the fourth side scientific knowledge and these four pillars create the feeling of renaissance what is humanism and humanism means the people thinks about the life of human being and before renaissance and people or the society mainly controlled by religion and religion or or other areas of society or other areas of society did not mention the human being they mainly focus religion and after the establishment of renaissance people thinks about human's life or the life of human being and that new area or that new concept known as humanism and the second critical thinking and before renaissance people are the right followers or the blind believers of religion and after renaissance and people thinks about why this or what this means critical thinking and the third thing or the third feature of renaissance is not out curiosity and people not ready to admit the factors contributed by anyone or people not ready to accept the factors or the points contributed by people or society the question why and what or how and why and these kinds of terms used by people after renaissance and these kinds of factors or humanism curiosity critical thinking are mainly based on scientific knowledge or people believes science or science created its hegemony over society and these are the main features of renaissance means once again the features of renaissance humanism curiosity scientific knowledge and critical thinking and these ideas motivated the people 
to question the beliefs and traditions of our nation or beliefs and traditions of society see humanism curiosity and questioning mentality and scientific knowledge helps the people to question the tradition and beliefs of society this made a radical change in 18th century that was known as enlightenment and the main result of renaissance is no doubt enlightenment means people's new way of thinking known as enlightenment and this enlightenment people are racial people they were they believe scientific knowledge they followed curiosity and they believe critical thinking and they were ultimately the focus the activities of human being and these tendencies created by renaissance and after 18th century the world witnessed a new term known as enlightenment and was a contribution of renaissance now how renaissance connected revolution renaissance are the main uh, backbone of revolutions and see enlightenment defined or enlightenment contributed certain kinds of new concept to the society as a part of renaissance and these concepts are freedom equality then democracy and nationalism and these four factors discuss a society after renaissance and these four factors are acted as the slogans of all revolution that will we will discuss later or all the revolutions of the world mainly discuss the concept of democracy equality freedom and nationalism and these four points mainly contributed by renaissance and renaissance acted as the behinding factor of revolutions and revolutions means an activity against the existing situation that is known as four changes that is known as revolution and the first or the introduction part of our chapter what is revolution and what is renaissance and what is enlightenment and what kind of points or what kind of uh, what kind of statements connected to all the revolutions of the world you know, either french or russian or whatever it may be and means equality then freedom democracy and nationalism in our chapter mainly discuss five revolutions or five political revolutions and not out the term five political revolution american revolution the first part american revolution and second french revolution and the third latin american revolution fourth russian revolution and the last of the our chapter chinese revolution once again i discuss the five revolutions american revolution french revolution latin american revolution russian revolution and chinese revolution and these are the five revolutions we will discuss later as a part of the 10th standard first chapter of social science today's our topic mainly deals with american revolution see that revolution was conducted by the people of america against britain the first thing that revolution conducted by the people of america against britain and that revolution raised the slogan not taxation without representation and that slogan was prepared by james otis the first fact about american revolution the revolution conducted by american people against britain that revolution used a particular slogan and that slogan was not taxation without representation by james otis see in america was discovered by christopher columbus on 1492 and that was a new land and a people and a group of people from britain migrated to america as a part of religious persecution and that people created their own lifestyle and that people created their own economy and their own industries and their own life to that particular area and that people was branded themselves as american people see that people came from britain as a part of religious persecution 
and they voluntarily, not voluntarily migrated, they were forcefully migrated as a part of religious persecution, they were forcefully migrated American area or the American surface. America ke agathe ke alkaru verinadu Britain le naan. Britain ne padayaan mutyandil undai tulla madaparam mai tulla pirdanengalay tudarnu orvi baga malkaru America le ke kudiyari parkunnu. Abar abrede da itulor jeevida jeevi America gathe unda kiri kiri cheyno. ई इंगेने कुड़ियारे पार्टी टोला आलकारे परायना पैरा आने तीर्थाड़गा पिदाकन मार अलेंगले पिलग्रिम फादर्स इन द पार्ने। ऑन दैट बेस ब्रिटेन कंसिडर्ड अ दम्सल एस मदर कंट्री। ब्रिटेन लाई पोलों पर इधर अमेरिकन आलकारों डे माद्रे राज्य में नो पर इन द ब्रिटेन आना तंगल आना। पदगुण्डे तो न Amerika kagat naratunna ellah sambatiga pravartan engalu deyum, ori oheri, alenggal ellah sambatiga pravartan engalayum niyendrika anu la wagasham Britain unde enolor tatto mario minoto wekendade Britain minoto wekendade. Si ase parto Britain considered as the mother country of America. On that base Britain tried to impose different kinds of laws within the land area of America and Britain compelled American people to follow British policies. See, Britain was the first industrial nation of the world and these Britain tried to use their power within American area as a part of the term mother country. Madhuri Rajam Tangalananu Paranyago under Britain Awaludé nayangal, yaitu negatif nada pelakkan sami kudan de. Amerika kagatte nada pelakkan sami kuno. Amerika kagatte ke nada pelakkan sami kuna Britain de itteran nayangal aane. Amerika kagatte viplavatine karena magan de. Alenggal Britain de itteran nayangal kedirai taan de. Amerika viplavatine tayar agan de. I viplavati aane nama le American viplavatine nampar de. But I am suggesting here that. An American revolution was conducted by American people against British economic policies. And that economic policies was too much exploitative policy, too much irritated policy considering towards America. See, an American or British economic policies for American continent known as mercantilist policies. British economic policies and once again that economic policies are not for the favor of American people and that main intention of that policies or economic policies were stimulated for American sorry British economy not American economy and Britain compelled America to follow British economic policies and that economic policy for American continent in the, uh, introduced by Britain known as mercantilist policies. That mercantilist policy of Britain considered as the factors or the factor, main factor of American revolution. That mercantilist policy irritated American society. That mercantilist policy negatively affected American economy and society. So the people of America compelled it to take weapons against British or the Britain or the British the nation of Britain or UK United Kingdom of Britain and Britain popularly known as United Kingdom of Britain or UK see once again that revolution conducted by American people against British mercantilist policies and mercantilist policy means such a type of a policy introduced by Britain against American continent that was an ex economic exploitative policy and the conditions of that policies were irritated American continent and irritated American economy so the people of America take weapons against uh, Britain and that was known as American Revolution against Britain see what are the main conditions of mercantilist policies introduced by Britain for America? The first thing, Britain compelled America to build 
ships from Britain. See, as a part of economic policy, economic activities, ships played a major role. And Britain compelled American people, if you, if you are ready to construct ships, and we will provide ships. And American people have no right to build or, cons or manufactured ships. And the second factor, Britain compelled American people to carry goods only from Britain. The first thing, Campbell America to construct or to manufacture ships from Britain and carried goods only from Britain. And the second thing, colonies or American people or American land provide food and accommodation for British troops or for British soldiers and that soldiers, the main duty of that soldiers was to protect America against foreign attack. A Britain compelled American people to provide food and accommodation facilities to British soldiers and they were from British or the American island and America people or use a huge amount of money for to maintain British soldiers. See, and that term and that condition was applied Britain in Indian subcontinent as a part of the policy subsidiary alliance. And we will discuss that part on later chapters. See, one of the main condition of subsidiary alliance introduced Britain in Indian subcontinent was the same condition means British troops were located their colonies and colonies were responsible to maintain the food and accommodation of British army. And second point related to American revolution, British people compelled America to maintain their soldiers within the land of America. And the third thing, Britain compelled American people to use 20 shilling or 20 shilling revenue stamps if American people used any type of documents, license, newspapers, etc. Britain compelled American people must be affixed all legal documents, newspapers and license as a part of 20 shilling stamp. And another condition of mercantilist policy, once again, and these policies negatively affected American economy or irritated American people and products of colonies like sugar, tobacco, cotton, etc. could only be exported to British continent. Products of America like sugar, cotton, tobacco, etc. could only be exported to Britain. And last part, the import tax must be paid for import of tea, glass, paper, etc. See, the mercantilist policies or the conditions of mercantilist policies are Britain, America, Nirbandikun or Karanam, Alangal mercantilist policy da Bagamite. Britain Paranyavar in the Rikaranam. America Ubiogikuna Ella Kapalugalum, Britain in the Michawe Arikadam. Tandamate Karium, America Lundakuna Ella Vasukulum, Evideko Matrame Kaitim of the Cheyan Padulo, Britain Eleko Matrame Kaitim of the Cheyan Padulo. Mercantilist policy under Adamate condition no Paranadam, America Kagat. Britain de the Aitler is signed the Avrin the Lanartum. As I in it in the Elach Alevogulum, Ari Vaikadam, America Vaikadam. As in the Elach Alevogulum, Avakavisha Matla Bachanam, Avakavisha Matla Thomas Sogringal, it okay, America Riki Kodakadam. Britain de Britain, America Mughal Chumati Tula, Yandamate Kandishna Dan. Munamada item. America Kagat, Nama Barama and Adakona Ella Ida Badagal, other license policy agam, 
അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മറ്റ് ലീഗൽ ഡോക്യുമെൻസ് ആകാം അതുമല്ലെങ്കിൽ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പറുകൾ ആകാം ഇതിനകത്തൊക്കെ ഇരുപത് ഷില്ലിംഗ് വില വരുന്ന ബ്രിട്ടന്റെ സ്റ്റാമ്പ് ആര് പതിപ്പിച്ചിരിക്കണം അമേരിക്കൻ ആൾക്കാർ പതിപ്പിച്ചിരിക്കണം നാലാമതായി അമേരിക്ക ഉൽപ്പാദിപ്പിക്കുന്ന പഞ്ചസാര കോട്ടൺ തുടങ്ങിയ വസ്തുക്കൾ എവിടേക്ക് മാത്രമേ കയറ്റുമതി ചെയ്യാൻ പാടുള്ളൂ ബ്രിട്ടനിലേക്ക് മാത്രമേ കയറ്റുമതി ചെയ്യാൻ പാടുള്ളൂ ഏറ്റവും അവസാനമായിട്ട് അമേരിക്ക ഇറക്കുമതി ചെയ്യുന്ന സാധനങ്ങൾക്ക് മുകളിൽ അത് തേയില ഗ്ലാസ് പേപ്പർ പോലുള്ള സാധനങ്ങൾക്ക് മുകളിൽ ബ്രിട്ടൻ അവരുടേതായിട്ടുള്ള നികുതി ചുമത്താനും തുടങ്ങി ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ആർ ദ കണ്ടീഷൻസ് ഓഫ് മർക്കൻഡലിസ്റ്റ് പോളിസീസ് സി ആൻഡ് ഈസ് ഹൗ ദീസ് പോളിസീസ് ഓർ ഹൗ ദീസ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് എഫക്റ്റഡ് ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് എക്കോണമി ആൻഡ് അമേരിക്കൻ എക്കോണമി ദറ്റ് ഈസ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് അനാലിസിസ് ഈ നയങ്ങളൊക്കെ എങ്ങനെയാണ് അമേരിക്കയെ ബാധിക്കുന്നത് ഈ നയങ്ങളൊക്കെ എങ്ങനെയാണ് ബ്രിട്ടനെ ബാധിക്കുന്നത് സ്വാഭാവികമായിട്ടും ഈ നയങ്ങൾ ഓരോന്നും നമ്മളെടുത്ത് പരിശോധിച്ചു നോക്കിയാൽ ബ്രിട്ടൻ അമേരിക്കയെ അസംസ്കൃത വസ്തുക്കൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കാനുള്ള അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അസംസ്കൃത വസ്തുക്കൾ ശേഖരിക്കാനുള്ള കോളനികളായിട്ടും ഉൽപ്പന്നങ്ങൾ വിറ്റഴിക്കാനുള്ള മാർക്കറ്റുകളായിട്ടും മാത്രം മാറ്റുന്ന ഒരവസ്ഥ കാണാൻ കഴിയും സി എസ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദിസ് പോളിസി ഓർ ദ കീ ഫാക്ടർ ഓഫ് എക്കണോമിക് ഓർ ദ കീ ഫാക്ടർ ഓഫ് അമേരിക്കൻ ഓർ ദ ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് എക്കണോമിക് പോളിസി ബ്രിട്ടൻ കൺസിഡേർഡ് അമേരിക്ക ആസ് എ സെൻ്റർ ഓഫ് റോ മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ആൻഡ് എ സെൻ്റർ ഓഫ് മാർക്കറ്റ് ടു കളക്ട് റോ മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ആൻഡ് എ മാർക്കറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദർ പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ that is the main factor the key factor of american mercantilist policy see an american mercantilist policy was not for the favor of so, uh, sorry british mercantilist policy was not for the favor of american continent that was that policy is the main aim of that policy was to enrich british economy not american economy on that context american people raise a slogan and that slogan was firstly we mentioned that slogan no taxation without representation on that context american people raise the slogan no taxation without representation america k yadoru tarathilum pradhanidhyam illatha oru sambathika vyavasthaye valarthi edukkunnadinal ee oru viplavathinte bhagamayittulla engil american janatha ബ്രിട്ടനെതിരായിട്ട് മുന്നോട്ട് വയ്ക്കുന്ന മുദ്രാവാക്യമാണ് പ്രാതിനിധ്യമില്ലാതെ നികുതിയില്ല നോ ടാക്സേഷൻ വിത്തൗട്ട് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ വൈ അമേരിക്കൻ പീപ്പിൾ കമ്പൽഡ് ടു റേസ് ദ സ്ലോഗൺ നോ ടാക്സേഷൻ വിത്തൗട്ട് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ മീൻസ് ദ കണ്ടീഷൻസ് ഓഫ് മർക്കൻഡലിസ്റ്റ് പോളിസീസ് കമ്പൽ അമേരിക്കൻ പീപ്പിൾ ടു റേസ് ദ സ്ലോഗൺ നോ ടാക്സേഷൻ വിത്തൗട്ട് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ and american people were so irritated that people uh, were divided into 13 colonies and is got the names of that colonies was uh, explained in the first column of our chapter from georgia uh, north carolina south carolina etc and these american colonies were too much irritated the policies uh, dis- uh, introduced by britain to american people or american surface that people were ready to take arms against british policies or british mercantilist policies and the last condition of mercantilist policy they imposed tax or to the imported items of british or the american colonies particularly sugar and tea on 1773 the american history witness a new term that was known as boston tea party means the american sailors captured 33 or uh, the tea boxes from the ships of Amer- uh, britain and they and, and they captured these uh, tea packets and they thrown away to the seas that was known as boston tea party 1773 lana അമേരിക്ക 
സ്വാഭാവികമായിട്ടും ഈ പ്രതിസന്ധികൾക്കകത്തൊക്കെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇത്രയും പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കിയ ബ്രിട്ടനെതിരായിട്ടുള്ള റവല്യൂഷൻ വിപ്ലവം അമേരിക്ക തുടങ്ങുന്നത് ആയിരത്തി എഴുന്നൂറ്റി എഴുപത്തി മൂന്നിലെ ബോസ്റ്റൺ ടീ പാർട്ടിയോട് കൂടിയിട്ടാണ് ബോസ്റ്റൺ ടീ പാർട്ടിക്കകത്ത് ബോസ്റ്റൺ ടീ പാർട്ടി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ സംഭവം ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് അമേരിക്കയിലെ ബോസ്റ്റൺ തുറമുഖത്തേക്ക് എത്തിയിട്ടുള്ള കപ്പലിൽ നിന്ന് തേയിലപ്പെട്ടികൾ അമേരിക്കൻ വേഷ അമേരിക്കൻ ആൾക്കാർ ചുമട്ട് തൊഴിലാളികളുടെ വേഷം ധരിച്ചിട്ടുള്ള അമേരിക്കൻ തൊഴിലാളികൾ കപ്പലിലേക്ക് വലിച്ച് കപ്പലിൽ നിന്ന് കടലിലേക്ക് വലിച്ചെറിയുന്നത് കാണാൻ കഴിയും അതായത് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഇൻസിഡൻറ്റ് നോൺ ആസ് ബോസ്റ്റൺ ടീ പാർട്ടി ഇതിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ബോസ്റ്റൺ ടീ പാർട്ടി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആയിരത്തി എഴുന്നൂറ്റി എഴുപത്തി മൂന്നിലെ ഈ സംഭവമാണ് ബ്രിട്ടൻ അമേരിക്കക്കെതിരായിട്ടൊരു തുറന്ന യുദ്ധത്തിലേക്ക് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു തുറന്ന സമരത്തിലേക്ക് പോകാനുള്ള കാരണമായിട്ട് പറയുന്നത് സി വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ ദാറ്റ് റവല്യൂഷൻ വാസ് കണ്ടക്റ്റഡ് ബൈ അമേരിക്കൻ പീപ്പിൾ എഗെയിൻസ്റ്റ് ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് മാർക്കൻഡലിസ്റ്റ് പോളിസീസ് ആൻഡ് ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് മാർക്കൻഡലിസ്റ്റ് പോളിസീസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി എഗെയിൻസ്റ്റ് എക്കണോമിക് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് അമേരിക്കൻ ഏരിയ ഓർ ദ അമേരിക്കൻ പീപ്പിൾ and that negative economic policies compelled american people to raise a slogan and that slogan known as no taxation without representation prepared by james otis and these mercantilist policies compelled american people to conduct a revolution against britain and that revolution known as american revolution and this was the main causes of american revolution and how america conduct that revolution see as a part of the course see so you are see course of that revolution start from 1773 boston tea party and 17 174 the first continental congress also known as philadelphia congress 1774 the first philadelphia congress 1775 the second philadelphia congress 1776 the third philadelphia congress and these three congress or the these three meetings influenced or leads american revolution or the revolution conducted by america against british people the significance of first continental congress 1774 at philadelphia and these congress or the meetings was held at philadelphia 1774 1775 1776 the place philadelphia the first continental congress met at philadelphia and 12 american colonies were participated that uh, meeting without the presence of georgia georgia illade 12 american colonies alana onnamathe philadelphia congress nagatha pangadukkunnathu 1774 രണ്ടാമത്തെ ഫിലാഡൽഫിയ കോൺഗ്രസിന്റെ പ്രത്യേകത എന്നോ പറയുന്നത് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ഫിലാഡൽഫിയ കോൺഗ്രസ് ഓൺ സെവൻറ്റീൻ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് സെലക്ടഡ് ജോർജ് വാഷിംഗ്ടൺ എസ് എ ക്യാപ്റ്റൻ ഓഫ് അമേരിക്കൻ ആർമി അമേരിക്ക നയിക്കുന്ന വിപ്ലവങ്ങളുടെ ക്യാപ്റ്റൻ ആയിട്ട് ജോർജ് വാഷിംഗ്ടൺ തിരഞ്ഞെടുക്കപ്പെടുന്നത് രണ്ടാമത്തെ ഫിലാഡൽഫിയ കോൺഗ്രസിലാണ് ആയിരത്തി എഴുന്നൂറ്റി എഴുപത്തി അഞ്ച് മൂന്നാമത്തെ ഫിലാഡൽഫിയ കോൺഗ്രസിനകത്ത് വെച്ചിട്ടാണ് അമേരിക്ക അമേരിക്കൻ ഡിക്ലറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്വാതന്ത്ര്യ പ്രഖ്യാപനം അമേരിക്ക നടത്തുന്നത് ഈ പറയുന്ന മൂന്നാമത്തെ ഫിലാഡൽഫിയ കോൺഗ്രസിൽ വെച്ചിട്ടാണ് സി കോണ്ടിനെൻ്റൽ കോൺഗ്രസ് ആയിരത്തി എഴുന്നൂറ്റി എഴുപത്തി നാല് ഒന്നാമത്തെ ഫിലാഡൽഫിയ കോൺഗ്രസ് പെക്യുലാരിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ഫിലാഡൽഫിയ കോൺഗ്രസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫിലാഡൽഫിയ കോൺഗ്രസ് വിതൗട്ട് ദ പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേഷൻ ഓഫ് ജോർജിയ വൺ ആൻഡ് ദ അമേരിക്കൻ കോളനി ആൻഡ് സെക്കൻഡ് ഫിലാഡൽഫിയ കോൺഗ്രസ് സെവൻറ്റീൻ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് സെലക്റ്റഡ് ജോർജ് വാഷിംഗ്ടൺ ദ ക്യാപ്റ്റൻ ഓഫ് അമേരിക്കൻ ആർമി ആൻഡ് തേർഡ് ഫിലാഡൽഫിയ കോൺഗ്രസ് വിറ്റ്നസ് അമേരിക്കൻ ഡിക്ലറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻസ് സി ദ എക്കണോമിക് പോളിസീസ് നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ദ എക്കണോമിക് പോളിസീസ് ഓഫ് ബ്രിട്ടൻ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ അമേരിക്കൻ റവല്യൂഷൻ എ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് തിങ്കേഴ്സ് ഇൻസ്പയർഡ് അമേരിക്കൻ പീപ്പിൾ to raise the slogan against britain the first john locke and the second thomas paine and john locke used the term fundamental rights and john locke believes each man has his each man are unique and each man has his own fundamental rights any government can control the fundamental rights of people that was the first statement that was a statement provided by or, the, or 
sponsored by John Locke and that statement and that ideology inspired American people against Britain. American Viplavatinde Karanangal Pradana Pata Karanam in the Paranade, Britain the Sambatika Nayangalana. Is Sambatika Nayangal Kadirite, American Viplavan Naikuna, Janangal, Kudicharanda Karanamaita Namale, Yanda Tatajindagan married a pair of Paranando. One there, John Lockum Adeathinde, Tatajindaman. Then Parnavikan Rikarium, Oro Victicum, Oro Manushanum. Manusia, alangkah manusia agama sengal unda, alangkah mauli agama sengal unda. Ini mauli agama sengal le, tadasap peradatan, ini mauli agama sengal le, kemugalil niendrana merata, niendrana mer peradatan, arka agama sengal le, government ini agama sengal le, ini le tatkum John Locke minute wake nanda. Thomas Pain pernah wake nere karya, adem prosedurnya agun nade, adem peraturan kita le, ori legu legi le, unda alangkah common sense no parayenna legu legi le unda ana deham. Presiden agun ada. Adem perniagaan kita orang karya manusian de budhi ane, alinggal manusian de cinta ane awenne naikkan ada. Ia anda tatkah cinta kalam enggane ane American Revolution lek karena ma agun ada. Amerika kagat de Britain erpadat ye tulah mercantilist policy Amerika yude. Alah American jenengal udah manusia awak asyik tine mukar le lula kadangkala kita ada. Ninggal ke sondama itu chip couple gal nirmikkan le awak asyik illa. Ninggal unda aku na wasukal Amerika lek Amerika le nne Britain lek matra me ka itu mada cayaan padu lo. Ninggal udah elar ega gal le lom Britain des tamb padipikanam. Ninggal udah rajat tina gat. Nyanggal udah sahine, telinga Britain deh sahine te, ninggal, alegre awak kah awisya matal lea cilembul nalgan. Ini oke, mauliga awak asing lori ajatte jenengal da mauliga awak asing lale pradigula mai badikuna karya ngalat. Ado gundah dene, ini pradigula mai tulah awak asing lale badikuna karya ngalat idrakan American jenengal le prapta ma kuna de John Locke inde, ini sedan daman means, and he used the term fundamental rights. Adakah ubi ubi kena tetap mauli ke warga asing kalian naan? And people individual have their own fundamental rights and government can't control the fundamental rights of people. Then adanya sesiapa mana nama le? Iden ada gadi, wiplawat ini ada gadi perisodik kena de. Muna continental congress segala itu. Alangkah muna sammeyal alangkah kalian udah naan Amerika iden ada wiplawat eh Britain ada right la wiplawat eh naik kena de. Ada teri nu teri debat kan jele onam pelajar fiar congress. Ayatiti, Edunuti, Edubati Anjile, Randa Philadelphia Congress, Unna Ayatiti Edunuti Edubati Nale, Randa Ayatiti Edunuti Edubati Anje, Muna Ayatiti Edunuti Edubati Ar. Orang boxing agak tak kita nampol itu kondo berem bole. Ayatiti Edunuti Edubati Nale, Unna Philadelphia Congressil, Georgia Enno Parayan American Colony Pangkat Tertel. Ada mana dinda pertegas. Ayatiti Edunuti Edubati Anje, Randa Philadelphia Congress. Selected George Washington, the captain of British uh, American Army. George Washington, the American Army, would have signed it in the Taliban at the Tarnia de Kuno. The Muna Philadelphia Congress, Ayati, Edunuti, Edubati, R. American Sadandra, Prakyabanathanum, Karanamabano. And that revolution uh, start from 1773. Boston Tea Party from Boston Tea Party and end on the year 1781 as a part of the Treaty of Paris in 1783. An American Revolution was closed, or British people ready to give freedom to American people on 1783. And George Washington selected the first president of America, the independent America. See, the present condition, America controlled the world system, the world politics. And who is the president of America, the present president of America? Trump and that person was so popular during the corona days. And the first president of America, George Washington, and the present president of America, Trump. And see, the American Revolution was officially finished during the year 1783. 
See, as a part of examination, the last examination of 2019, the last year, uh, that question, America, the courses and the result of American Revolution was an essay question and definitely an important part of the 10th standard social studies chapter, the courses and the result of American Revolution. And the result of the main result of American Revolution, America converted as an independent nation. Or America converted to an independent nation or America got freedom from Britain, the first result. And the second result, American Revolution inspired the people, those who are considered as suppressed one, those who are considered as a colonial or the peoples of colony, conducted revolution against their mother countries. And I said the second result of American Revolution, that revolution inspired other revolutions like French, Russian, etc. And the third result of American Revolution, that revolution contributed a revolutionary statement or a slogan for the people known as no taxation without representation. Once again, the causes of American Revolution, see, and that American Revolution was conducted by American people against Britain and Britain considered as the mother country of America. And to memorize the term, Pilgrim Fathers. And the main cause of American Revolution was the economic exploitative policies of Britain considered as the main cause of American Revolution. And that policy is popularly known as mercantilist policy. And that policy have certain kinds of conditions and these policies negatively affected American economic interest, American social interest and American political interest. And mercantilist policies irritated American economic, political and social interest. And the second factor, the second cause of American Revolution, the statements of the thinkers like John Locke and Thomas Paine affected American Revolution or inspired American people to conduct revolution against Britain. And another part, an important part, the Continental Congress means 1774 to 1776. First Philadelphia Congress, Second Philadelphia Congress, Third Philadelphia Congress. And First Philadelphia Congress was so specialized without the presence of, presence of George, uh, Georgia. And Second Philadelphia Congress selected George Washington, the captain of American Army. And Third Philadelphia Congress witnessed American Declaration of Independence and American Revolution was finished through the Treaty of Paris 1783 and America got freedom after American Revolution and the results of American Revolution, the first America got freedom from Britain and America Revolution inspired the people of the world, those who are considered as subjugated people. And third thing, American Revolution contributed a revolutionary slogan for the mankind, not taxation without representation. And expecting an essay question related to American Revolution on your SLC examination. Thank you.